Threadripper is in a gaming CPU lineup. What you part dumb cunt? No one buys channels. Stop! Please have a listen and watch. We are talking about a brand new CPU called the AMD Ryzen Threadripper. It is playing a game in 4K, streaming to Twitch at 1080p 60. So if you're the kind of person who games and creates, or primarily creates and games, this system with this processor will be able to do all of that for you. CPUs for consumers that have ever been made. Consumers. Playing the new Bethesda title, Prey, on ultra settings at 4K resolution. So this is Ryzen Threadripper, so 16 cores, 32 threads. But what you see is, again, beautiful game performance at 4K in ultra high settings with the Threadripper. And our message is that for the true enthusiast class performance capability, um, this combination will be an incredible combination available with Threadripper. This summer, and uh, we'll put it in the hands of all of those users that really want just extreme performance when it comes to either creativity applications or gaming. The last demo I want to show you is one around gaming. And there are a lot of gamings, uh, gamers in this world, as uh, Derek said earlier. And, and we love gamers as part of AMD. And what we wanted to show you today is, again, Threadripper running with the dual Radeon RX Vega that looks really, really gorgeous. What we've observed is that the PC industry often likes to fit people into neat little buckets. There are even words for that. It's the, the workstation market or the PC gaming market. And those are easy for research reports and whatnot, but there's some overlap there. A person who does 3D modeling at work wants to go home and play a game, or maybe they're a gamer who also creates as a hobby. There are tons of those people. So. Part of what makes the Ryzen Threadripper so special is that it embraces the fuzziness. It acknowledges that there are people who want to create and game on the same PC and need the scalability and need the performance to do that, maybe both at the same time. That potential is there and that's what's really exciting about the Threadripper chip. Play a game while you're working to use your time more effectively, more wisely. Those are the reasons why the AMD Ryzen Threadripper exists. It's for people who need to do it all and want the flexibility to get it done. Uh, I just find it really, really funny how people are on the internet nowadays. A you a AMD fanboys. Not, not all of you guys, but the majority. Probably like... 98% of you guys are worse than console fanboys. You know, we shit on console fanboys for being, uh, you know, basically retarded. Now the hard truth has come out that shows it doesn't even matter. There are just as much stupid people on the gaming community as much as there is uh, on the console side. You AMD fanboys are like the worst. <laughs> Not only were you guys, you know, look really stupid, r really horrible. If you actually watch my video, uh, it's nothing really bad. You know, I was praising AMD that Threadripper is great. It's an amazing CPU when it comes to productivity. But when it comes to gaming, it's not good. Okay. It's simply not up to snuff. All right. So I'm, uh, I'm here in my video. You can see I got 66 dislikes, as you can see right there. That I think that beat my most popular video. Well, not really most popular, but my most disliked video. I think my other most disliked was like 65 likes. I mean, dislikes. So, uh, congratulations there, uh, AMD fanboys. You guys <laughs> proved how terrible you are. And I don't know. It makes me not want to go to team red just because you guys are so cancerous so uh if you guys go check out my uh comment section it's it's filled with uh, a lot of cancer and uh i screenshot the best ones and we're gonna go and check them out now uh some of these are deleted because you know my whole video wasn't too shit on threadripper my video is, is to say you know it's not good for uh gaming and stuff like that and i was looking for information 
to a CPU that's going to be great for gaming and productivity. And you know, most people said it was the 1700 from Ryzen. Uh, it's not good for productivity. It, it's really slow. Another one is the 7700K from Intel. That's a quad core. I'm not going back to quad core. If you watch my video, I basically addressed everything that these guys are commenting, and that just shows me that these people are not watched my video. Actually, they haven't watched the entire video. Uh, I'm going to pull the analytics for this uh, really quick. And as you can see here, the average viewer duration is two minutes. So most likely, well not most likely, everyone who watched this video did not watch the whole thing. And I addressed most of the thing, like everything they're pointing out. And you know, and I said stuff that they're commenting and I agree with them. Uh, but you know, they're too stupid to realize because they didn't watch the whole video. So that's like the worst thing about uh, making a video and someone leaving a comment on your video is that you addressed it in your video but, but people still commented because they didn't watch the whole video and you know that just makes them look so stupid you know so not not everyone watched the entire video I know it's a little bit long video not really long but it's a, it's a, it's a good length uh, it's a good uh, 13 minute video we gonna round it off 14 but yeah, this, this let's go ahead and look at these comments. Then your CPU barely matters. Congrats. This this viewer guy is really uh, cancerous. He's like the worst one. You know jack shit. The 1700 is the fine for gaming. Can easily hit 1440p. Uh, 1440p. 144 FPS in most games when paired with a 1080 Ti. I like that you you know say 1080 Ti in this Nvidia and that's a competitor with AMD. <laughs> Anything below 1080 Ti is too weak to see any difference between the 1700 when oh seat. So I gotta overclock it. I don't like overclocking my stuff, people. So no. And the 1700 7700K, which is faster than the 7820X when it comes to gaming for your information. I, I, I already mentioned it in my original video, which this guy did not watch. I'm not getting in 7700K because it's a quad core CPU. It is too slow. It's too weak for me. It's probably, it is the best CPU for gaming. But I, if you watch my video, I want a CPU that's best for gaming and not a slouch for you know workstation stuff. So that's why I can't get the 7700K because it's a quad core and it's too weak for me. This viewer guy keeps on commenting, saying the most stupidest shit ever. And I mentioned I have a Titan X, and he he tries to downplay it. Trying to downplay my uh fucking Titan X. This viewer guy is really fucking ridiculous. And he and he and he mentioned something about FP16 shaders. Uh, last time I heard about FP16 shaders is when console fanboys try to justify the weak consoles. Because you know you guys know the PS4 and Xbox One is really weak. And I, I think it was like a year ago. Uh, you know, developers were saying we're gonna go switch to FP16 shaders, and it's gonna improve performance for gaming for consoles. And and then you hear nothing but console fanboys saying that FP16 is gonna be a miracle workaround. It's gonna make these consoles last longer, and it's gonna be powerful. It's gonna be more powerful. So you know, when you know when I said uh, AMD fanboys are just as bad <laughs> as console fanboys, I'm not joking here. <laughs> This is the proof right here of an AMD fanboy using arguments being been used by council fanboys. If you guys don't believe me, just, just type in FP16 shaders or whatever this guy, the fuck is this guy is pointing out. And the first thing you'll see is like a bunch of council fanboys calling this the secret sauce. <laughs> oh my god, these fucking people. Let's, let's, let's go look at more of these comments. Intel. Separating idiots from their money since 2017. Kenneth Turner. Kenneth Turner, I am not an Intel fanboy. It's just that Intel is the best for right now. But AMD Threadripper is good for some things, not everything. LOL, you suck from LT Dominator. <laughs> That's an amazing comment. I love this one. He says, uh, why would you, what would you say to a person who buys a Ferrari to go to a grocery store, I would say the same to a fool who picks a Threadripper primarily for gaming 
or better still, what would you call a moron who buys a station wagon to go to a grocery store, but one which costs more than a Ferrari? <sighs> this comment, this comment is just really fucking stupid. <laughs> you guys trying to, you guys can decode that. Is a good friend of mine exposing fuckboys. Damn, AMD haters are strong here, Greg. Yes, they are exposing fuckboys. Yes, they are, and it's not the good AMD fanboys. It's the, it's the bad ones. You dumb fuck by Vmax G. I guess I'm a dumb fuck. That's good to know. I'm an Intel consumer, have been for for life, but this video is pointless. AMD is rocking out with its course out, and as a bonus, it plays games very, very well. Sip it. <laughs> it does not play games very, very well. It plays games okay. <laughs> you know, it's not good. AMD advertised it for gamers. And it's not good for game. As you guys can uh, see the previous previous uh, clip I showed. Uh, proof that shows that uh, AMD advertised it for gamers. <laughs> but it's not good for gaming. This is just from... <laughs> this is just as moronic as buying a Xeon and complaining about lost FPS in games. But a Xeon costs over a grand. Threadbird doesn't cost much as a grand. So you really can't compare it there, uh, Farid. And I think a Xeon is actually faster than the Threadripper, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, yes, I am complaining about FPS loss because Threadripper was advertised for gamers, but it's terrible for gaming because you lose a lot of fucking performance. So yes, I am complaining. Now this guy is being sar sarcastic. Intel rocks, dude. You should buy a thousand shaders shares <laughs> of Intel stock now. When everyone realizes how much Intel crushes Threadripper, the stock for Intel is going through the roof. Go all in, dude. Very funny. Bo Schmuck. Maya 2012. Two out of three dislikes. LOL. I think it's more than that now. <laughs> Pretty soon. Uh, this channel and this guy is fucking stupid. You sound like a fucking yokel. Yokel? I don't know. It is not a gaming chip. Threadripper... Is all not just one thing you fuck with. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, it, it's a chip. You know, it's, it was advertised for gamers and people who cr content creates like me. I do, I do both. But it's terrible for gaming and I just showed you proof that they advertised it for gamers. So, no, Adam, you are the fuck with that or you just have terrible memory that uh, <laughs> Intel, I mean, AMD advertised for gamers. Hopefully, this is reported to YouTube. This channel is shut down. This Adam guy is so butthurt about my video. That's not really, you know, that fucked up. It's, you know, it's, it's actually, it's, I'm not, I wasn't doing anything bad, you know. All I was saying, you know, I was going to get Threadripper. Threadripper is an amazing CPU, but it's not good for gaming. And that's why I'm not getting it. And that's all I said in my whole video. And, you know, and like, in the... Towards the end, I just said, like, you know, what, what CPU would you guys recommend? And this guy got, just got butthurt for the title, and I'm sure he didn't even watch my video. So, Adam Rick Richard, or what, Rick Hurd, whatever, you are the dumbass here. Intel offering results in higher minimal frame rates. <laughs> I don't know what to say on that one. Not interested, you homo. Alright. You dumb cut. No one buys such a CPU line up for just gaming. You are literally blaming AMD for your own ignorance. Another guy, Pathfinder. The guy did not watch my video. I sp specifically said I stream and I render videos. And I sometimes do it at the same time. But AMD Threadripper is not good for gaming because you lose a lot of performance on FPS for gaming. So uh, it's not ignorance. It's just you're just you're, you're the dumb fuck cunt whatever the fuck you want to say uh pathfinder so uh yeah threadripper isn't a C gaming cpu up line uh what threadripper isn't a gaming cpu lineup what part of that do you not get hell i bet you didn't know this the i7 700k even beats intel's own hedt lineup in gaming my 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 what a simpleton do i really need to repeat myself people it's, <laughs> it's just these AMD fanboys, man. They're the fucking worst. I swear. I like this one. 
I, li I like this one. There's some stuff that I agree with him, but not really. Okay, so how moronic can you be? Thanks to AMD, you can buy your precious Intel at half price six months ago. And I thank AMD for doing that, even though they haven't done shit for like, what, six years? And now they're doing something. So that's why Intel, you know, it's been, you know, really cozy. So, uh, hey, better late than never, right, AMD? I mean, this would have been great earlier, but hey, at least you're doing it now. Intel sucked all it can do on these part past years and did nothing in technology investment. That's not true. Intel was the only one pushing technology. AMD didn't do jack shit. They were using architecture that was like 10 years old. So that is not true. Intel was the only one that was pushing innovation little by little, but they were still doing it. AMD wasn't doing jack shit. They finally are catching up. They're still catching up right now. Technically, they're still catching up, but they are they are a competitor competitor to Intel now, which is good, you know. But that's not true. Intel had had Intel had to pay to big distributions to not work with AMD for years. That is true. But again, AMD didn't do anything <laughs> to improve. Their products, all they did was bitch and, and you know whine, you know. And you know AMD finally woke up and decided to do something and make a beast, beast fucking CPU, which is AMD Threadripper. Threadripper isn't for gamers; it's to people that actually need PC to make a living and for same tag to get a lot of cores for and workstations scalability. Something Intel blocked for years. No, you're wrong again. Threadripper was meant for gamers, was advertised for gamers, and again, Intel did not block anything. Uh, it just AMD didn't do jack shit for years, and now they are, which, which is good, which is good, which is good. So, uh, yeah, H Hugo, Juice, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> but yeah, yes, get the gist. AMD fanboys are the worst, and uh, they, it clearly shows they not watch my video, they only watch Two minutes, 25 seconds. That's the majority of it. The average view duration. Uh, which is sad. But yeah, hopefully this video uh, opens up eyes for you AMD fanboys that you guys are just cancer. You guys are just as worse, if not worse, than console fanboys. So, uh, yeah. I know nobody's watching here to the end. So, because, uh, you know, this is proof of the pudding here. That AMD fanboys don't watch to the end. But yeah, this is my uh, response to some of the comments. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to... Uh, let's see, where is he? Where is this dude? Here we go. Jose Rafael Castillo Huggins. This is like the only dude that has been useful in the comments. And has actually helped me... Uh, with the questions I had in my video, he actually watched it to the end. So shout out to you, Jose Rafael Castillo Huggins. And you know what's the funny, funny part? It says thank you. Not an AMD fan though. Writing from a Xeon, so he's not even an AMD fanboy, and he answered my questions. So yeah, all I gotta say is fuck you, AMD fanboys. You guys can go enjoy your Threadripper, and I probably will soon too. You know, if when AMD. Uh, you know, updates their drivers for gaming and stuff like that. Then I'll, I'll probably get a third ripper. Uh, actually, my um, X twenty nine is coming in the mail pretty soon. So if that does not work, if I don't like the performance and stuff like that, if the heating issues is bugging me, then I'm going to return my X two ninety nine and I'm going to get a third ripper. That's right, people. You heard me. If I do not enjoy the Skylight X platform. Which I'll give you guys an update on that. Then I'm going with Threadripper, okay? Because, you know, I'll, I was originally going to go get Threadripper. But the game performance was a huge turnoff for me. And the Skylake uh, game performance was not affected as much. But, you know, I was originally going for Threadripper. If I don't enjoy the experience for Skylake X, I'm returning Skylake X. And I'm going AMD Threadripper. And I'm going to bite the bullet on the game performance. Alright, so uh, 
yeah, I'm gonna give you guys an update. So yeah, AMD fanboys, don't call me a, an Intel fanboy. I'm not an Intel fanboy. I was first. I had my first computer was an AMD build. Then I had an Intel, and I stick with Intel because AMD was literally dog shit. Okay, they haven't done shit until now. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that intro. <laughs> you know, it was great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click the boxes in the screen you see right now. Uh, to see my reviews and other stuff. And yeah, I love you guys. See you guys later. Peace.